Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Coffee's so good. Hey guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. And um, I want to welcome you to this uh, teaching, Shouting Out to God, or Shout It Out to God. And um, this is very interesting, and so I'm glad you're joining me tonight. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you that shouting it out to God will definitely give you some benefits in your life. And, uh, you know, because while we do that, it's a, a, a shout of praise. Amen. It's a shout of praise. It's a, it's a weapon of victory. How many of you want a weapon of victory in your life spiritually so that it can manifest into the natural? Amen. And um, so when you're about the house, when you're praying, when you're, when you're doing uh, a personal prayer in, your, in, your, in, the, in the privacy of your own room, when you're uh, doing uh, anything else that you need. some women, you know, sometimes we wash dishes and we're humming or we sing a song to the Lord. Uh, we have a tendency to do that. We're cleaning and we got praise music on. And, but you know what? I want to tell you that shouting it out to God is an amazing thing. It is one of those things that will bring a breakthrough in your life. And uh, I just, um, when this came to me, and I just thank the Lord for his wonderful mercy because he is such a great God. Amen. And before I get into the teaching, I just want to again welcome everyone and to this live uh, Facebook streaming. So let's open up with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Father, for this word that you have given me. And Lord, I ask, Father, that as I release this word, as I speak it, Father, that you even bless the viewer. You bless those that are listening. And Father, I thank you, Father, for everyone that has tuned in. And Lord, even as even after this video, Lord, I just ask, Father, that you speak that your anointing, that your Holy Spirit will come unto them and that it will release the revelation of that shouting out to God is a benefit and a weapon in their lives. And so, let, so Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you in the name of Jesus. And God's people said, Amen. Amen. You can pray, you can type that on there and say, Amen with an explanation point because you're going to shout it out. Amen. <laughs> so are you ready to know why shouting out to God is a benefit to you spiritually? Of course it is. You know, a praise is a weapon of victory. And when we shout out, let's say, for example, you're in the kitchen and you're cleaning and, and you're just thinking about everything going on in your life and especially of your family or, or maybe even work. Uh, you know, you can shout out the victory, amen, and you can praise out, you can praise to God out loud and just shout it into the heavens and say, God, thank you, Lord, for the, that I prosper, or that I am prospering in my job, and I thank you for that promotion. I thank you for, for that new car, if you're living for a new car. I thank you for this. I thank you for this new house, and, and Father, I just give you all the glory and all the honor, and I just praise your holy name, and Father, I just bless you, Father. I bless you right now father in the name of jesus and when you do things like that uh, as you're cleaning and doing household or working outside in the yard or maybe you're working labor uh, uh blue collar jobs you know and you're by yourself praise out shout out to god and just shout out those victories shout out that praise unto father acknowledge god acknowledge him for everything that he has done in your life you know uh, sometimes people say well i've done this all by myself i worked very hard to obtain this of course you know you work very hard but i tell you what that no door cannot be opened by any man but only by god god opens the doors and god closes doors so it's important that we shout out to god in praise and thanksgiving amen and uh, we need to do that. And just watch um, as you begin to do that, you know, because we need to speak with our mouths because as we are opening up 
speaking with our mouth and we are glorified and shouting all this praise unto God. We are breaking down strongholds. We are breaking down the, our, the poverty in our lives. We're breaking down sickness. We're breaking down broken relationships. We're breaking down anything that is coming against our lives and the family uh, household and uh, any victory that you're trying to obtain it is broken in the name of Jesus because you have begun to shout out the praise of Jesus you're shouting out his glory and that reveals to God that you're not embarrassed to do that you're not embarrassed to give out the praise and the glory unto him he knows you're not embarrassed and so when we go to church too you know we're worshiping god and you praise him out you clap you dance you do whatever you feel in the spirit god is going to take those words that you're shouting out to him and he is going to put it in his heart and his spirit and he's going to rejoice with you and he's going to bless you he's going to find you're going to find favor in his will and him and he's going to help you break down those walls of destruction those walls that are keeping you oppressed those walls that are keeping you in poverty those walls that are keeping you from moving on and those walls that are keep destroying your relationships and interfering in what you're trying to do god will come to your rescue because you are giving him the glory and the praise because you are shouting it out from the rooftop amen shout it out from the rooftop can you do that right now yes father we shout it out from the rooftop because you are our god you are our creator and you are blessing me as i am faithful to you and you keep doing that and just watch that those walls uh, that obstruction that is keeping you from prospering will slowly will come in and things will begin to fix and at the same time it fixes our attitudes oh yes it fixes our attitudes it will make you glory feel uh, more anointed it's going to make you feel better about yourself uh, because you're beginning to feel that connection between you and God is getting stronger and mightier that you have no doubt and you have no fear so you are proclaiming it from the rooftop you are shouting it out to God so don't hesitate shout to God amen and look at 137 it says for nothing will be impossible with God what are you shouting out to God? Amen? Are you giving your testimony? Are you shouting it out to God? Your testimony? Praising Him and giving Him a, a, a gratitude that you're, you're, you have a gratitude towards Him? Uh, you're giving Him praise and, and you're giving Him all the glory. All the glory because He is our God. Amen? So nothing will be impossible without God. Amen? So when God is hearing you give out that praise, when you're shouting it in front of people, at church, at, in your home, you are releasing that anointing, you're releasing the good positive vibes. And you know what? You're even going to encourage those that are with you that maybe never get into church or maybe they never say nothing, don't even pray. And maybe that will help to give the victory, amen? And you're gonna, it's, it's gonna be catchy, it's gonna be transferred unto them. You will become a witness to them, amen? And, 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 and you can do this in Philippians uh, 4.13, it says that I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So God will strengthen you, amen? Do you feel like, oh, I don't think I can do that? And, and, and you're, you're, you're silent and you're just praying silently and not speaking. You know, that is the worst thing that you can do, is remain silent. Who said that a prayer and a praise had to be silent? Don't let the enemy distract you from praising God with an open voice, amen, to give him the glory. You are honoring God by doing that because you're not being ashamed of his glory. You're not being ashamed of God and what he is doing in your life. Amen. So praise also. So shout it out into existence. Everything that you have been shouting out. You know, maybe you want a new house and you're, you're you know, you're saving money. You're doing everything you can and, 
and you're just hoping your good credit comes uh, lets you get a good amount of money and you're praying for a house maybe you can't afford one pray that god will gift you one amen i prayed for a car uh god gifted me a car free amen and it's it was low mileage it was an older car but it looked brand new i didn't have a problem with that it was going to get me where I needed to go. So God gifted me a car. Amen. After praying for one after three months, I, I was so blessed to have that car. Amen. So everything in God is possible. Amen. Everything is possible. As long as God is the center of your life, don't forget God. Amen. Don't forget God. You know. And as, uh, as we're doing all these things, as we are giving him praise of thanksgiving and we're sh sh uh, shouting out the praise, you know what you're doing? You're also speaking things into existence, amen? You're speaking things into existence. And, and God will receives all the honor and God will bless you, amen? Because we are standing by faith, amen? We know that God will do it. And, and, and uh, and it's impossible to please God without faith. So as we are shouting it out to God, we need to speak by faith. We need to be bold and we need to not be afraid to open up our mouths. Amen. So as we shout it out to God, we are shouting it into existence. The power of anointed shot will bring down every wall that is coming against you. Hallelujah. And so it makes a difference, amen. It makes a difference to shout it out and to the spiritual realm to proclaim your victory, amen. Because as you're doing that, you are claiming your victory also. Not only are you giving thanksgiving unto the Lord, but you're shouting, uh, you're shouting it out to God and uh, you're going to speak it out into existence, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And also shouting out is also a, 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 a praise shout. Of, uh, it's a weapon of spiritual warfare. Amen. Can you believe that? Yes. If, if a shouting out is a weapon of victory, shouting out is a weapon into the, of the spiritual warfare. You know, we have spiritual, uh, physical problems. We, you know, have difficulties. But when we do a shout out to God and and we are doing spiritual warfare, hey, what we face in our lives is nothing, amen. God will, uh, it will not be able to hinder us if we fight out unto God, amen. We shout it out unto God, excuse me. So we are claiming his promises. We are claiming everything as we shout it out, amen. Anything you can think, and as you are shouting out as a, as a weapon and doing spiritual warfare, you, uh, you will shout against your bondage. What is holding you back? Bondage is holding you back. What kind of bondage it is? Well, there's so many different types. Which one is yours? Shout it out and speak against that in the name of Jesus. Things like that hinder us from pro getting and processing God's, uh, possessing God's, um, uh, sorry, promises. And it's, it's, so it's time to shout it out. What are the promises that you're declaring? Amen. What is the promise that you're hoping that you get? Amen. Shout it out unto the spiritual realm and, and give God the glory. Speak out in the name of Jesus. And you're declaring the victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it was when it's time to shout out, you're going to be breaking bondages, strongholds, hindrance. And we need to shout them out in the name of Jesus with all our might. Amen. So shout out in victory and cast out any fear and doubt. Amen. There's no room for that in our lives. Don't allow doubt and fear to accumulate in your little brain here or, or in your spirit where it hinders you to do spiritual warfare to obtain the promises of God and to have victory in your life. Amen. Now, <clears throat> I have a scripture here because if we can shout the victory in our lives through Christ Jesus, no matter how the circumstances appear, uh, we need to draw it unto us by shouting out and proclaiming so that it can manifest in our lives. Amen. Wow, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> so, so Romans 8, 31, it says, 
If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Hallelujah. So, if God is for you, tell me, yeah, tell me right now, who can be against you? Nobody, right? Amen. Give me a thumbs up. Amen. If you're, if that's something that you agree with. Amen. And we know that on John 10, 10, that the, the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. And that's why we are fighting when we are shouting out to God. We're shouting the victory. We're shouting the praise to God. Amen. So we, we can shout out and proclaim without having fear and doubt. Amen. And possess. We're going to claim the victory. Amen. So that we can have life abundantly amen but we know that life abundantly comes with a price amen it comes with a price um i'm drinking coffee and i think i made a mistake <laughs> i should have been a coke <laughs> hmm. so amen hallelujah and uh, i have heard this from the mouth of many people well i don't know what to say i don't know what to do I don't know if I can yell out, but get them mad and they'll shout the roof off. <laughs> you know, that's just human nature. There's no time to be shy in the kingdom of God. You're going to get your booty kicked all over the place. <laughs> you don't want to be kicked over everywhere, amen? Because that's what the, the enemy is going to do is kick you all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so give thanks to the Lord. This is one of the things that you can shout out to God as you're doing whatever you're doing. Amen. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I thought that was funny. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm going to tell you. What can you say, amen, when you're shouting out to God from your kitchen or your living room or your bedroom or you're outside? working in the yard whatever you're doing i'm going to tell you what you can say okay so you're ready for this you got your pencil down and your notepad <laughs> well of course you can always refer to this video later amen so number one give thanks to the lord amen god is great glorify him amen he he deserves all the glory and all the praise because he is our creator shout it out shout it out and from the rooftop, amen? Praise the Lord. Isaiah 12 says, for, from uh, verse 4 says, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done, amen? Make known among, among the nations what he has done. And proclaim his name is exalted, amen? Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout out loud, and sing for joy you get it sing out loud amen i've been to uh, you know there's sometimes uh no matter where i go to some church services or whatever i have seen where people just don't sing they just keep their mouth quiet and they're just viewing the band instead of worshiping you know we're not supposed to be viewing the band we're supposed to be worshiping so shout out loud and sing for joy people of zion amen for great is the holy one of israel among you amen so praise the lord so that is one thing you can shout out to god is to give him praise to so give him the the thanks uh thanksgiving to give him uh just to glorify his his divine existence amen hallelujah number two <clears throat> shout out for your redemption oh lord Woo. How many of you are so glad you've been redeemed? Amen. So shout out for your redemption. And you can uh, shout out to God and saying, thank you, God, for redeeming me. Thank you, Lord, that you have delivered me from all these things. Thank you, Lord, that you have delivered and you have redeemed me and that I now am in Christ Jesus and I am in him and I will have eternal life. And you begin to shout out <clears throat> those thanksgiving for your redemption. Amen. It's the action of saving. Amen. And you go like, well, what it really is redemption? Well, redemption is to be uh, <clears throat> delivered. Amen. Taken out. 
uh, to to be brought into a, a, an act of saving, amen? So when you're shouting out for your redemption, you're actually you're shouting out the action of, of God saving you, amen, in Christ Jesus. So Psalm, 721, uh, Psalm 71, 23, it says, My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, and my soul which you have redeemed, hallelujah. Which my soul you have redeemed, hallelujah. And right here it says, my lips will shout for joy. Aren't you glad that you're not going to hell? Aren't you glad you're not going to be in Hades or Gehenna? Aren't you glad? So that's another reason to shout out unto God for self, for your redemption. Hallelujah. Point number three. Hallelujah. Ready? Okay. Shout for your salvation. Shout, for your, shout out for the salvation that you have in Christ Jesus. Because without your salvation, you will be lost. Amen. You will be in your way to Hades without even knowing it. So you shout out to, uh, to God in reference to your salvation, which is deliverance from sin and its consequences. Of course, if we have sin at one point, you know, we will still be... A judged, but we will not be condemned. Amen. That's the difference from a sinner. A sinner will be judged and they will be condemned. They will be eventually thrown into the lake of fire. But if you are have salvation in Christ Jesus, you will be judged, but you will not be condemned. Amen. There's a total big difference. You will ah, hallelujah. If you can't figure that out, I will pray for you. Amen. <clears throat> so shout out for salvation. Deliverance from sin and its consequences. On uh, Psalms 95, it says, Oh, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Christ Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Amen. And we, on him we stand. So we shout it out into the heavens and, and just give him the, how, just tell him how grateful you are that you have been saved, amen, that you have been delivered. <clears throat> Number four, take refuge, refuge in the Lord, amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, take, take so, uh, be, uh, be in solitary, be in, in a state of, or condition of being safe in God, amen. Uh, we hide in Him. Amen. He takes care of us. He, uh, we go to him and say, God, protect me. Take me into your wings, Lord. You know, because like he's in the word, he says that he is like an eagle that, uh, you know, he takes us on under his wings. And, and so we are taking refuge in the Lord. We go to him and he protects us. Amen. He delivers us from uh, any type of danger or trouble. He takes us in. And it puts us in shelter. He covers us, amen. He protects us and he delivers us from any harm or danger. Psalms 5, verse 11, it says, uh, But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy and may you shelter them that those who love your name may exalt in you. Amen. So take refuge in the Lord and he will uh, contain you. He will shelter you from any danger or trouble. So you can praise the Lord and you can also thank thank him for what he's done for you. He's kept you also. He's kept you away from uh, going into Hades. Amen. Because you are, you have been redeemed and you are in salvation. Amen. So number five, shout for your healing. How many of you are experiencing healing? Amen. <clears throat> now this is a joy because uh, people's faith sometimes wavers in this area. That's why sometimes people don't even ask for prayer because they they within themselves know I don't have enough faith to be healed. You know, <clears throat> in the in the scripture the word says a lot of times Jesus said your faith has healed you. Well, <clears throat> we're pastors. Anybody that prays for you is only a vessel being used by that by our Father. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we speak uh, healing, amen. We shout out to God for healing. And we are not supposed to be uh, embarrassed to shout it out. If you're in church, proclaim it, amen, from the rooftop. Proclaim your healing because 
if you're gonna be like a little mouse guess what you're being oppressed by the enemy you are being pushed down and everything and you are being kept and sickness or an illness, whatever you want to call it, you will be pressed down, amen, and contained in that state of sickness because you are not shouting out to God for your healing, amen. You want the victory? Shout it out. Do not pay attention to who's around you. Don't pay attention to who's in front or who's in the back. Who cares who's in the front or the back? Who cares who's watching you believe me everybody is thinking about themselves they're not looking at you and thinking about you amen i'm telling you that right now that's something i have learned throughout my life amen so don't don't be in charge thinking oh my god who's watching me oh i can't shout i can't dance i can't sing oh i don't want people to think i'm crazy don't do that <laughs> don't do that shout it out to god I would rather shout it out to God for my healing, amen. When I was sick from COVID a year ago, when I was in a hospital for almost a month because my lungs collapsed, I knew I had people praying for me, but not once did I allow the enemy to tell me that I was going to die, you know, because I didn't accept it. I did not accept that because I knew that I still have a lot to do in the Lord. And I, you know, I would sit there and, and I said, Lord, I know I can hardly breathe. If I get up, I'm going to run out of breath. I'm going to be struggling, you know, and uh, I'm going to be ventilating, trying to get air, you know. So I, I said, no, I'm going to do this. And I would force myself to go to the bathroom. I would force myself to get up. And even when the nurses would tell me, take it easy, you're still not ready. I said, oh, yes, I'm ready. You know, I'm going to do this in the name of Jesus. And I would go to the bathroom. I would get there okay, but on my way back, I was already uh, vent uh, hyperventilating because I, I couldn't get oxygen. And they wanted to like carry me to the bed and, and I was like, like, no, let me. I said, because I'm practicing, I'm, my lungs are getting stronger. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna fight this. And I did, you know, I did, I fought it. And here I am sitting, talking to you, amen. So when we have a sickness in our lives, don't let the enemy put you in a little box where you cannot speak. Shout it out to God. Proclaim your healing and just declare it over the mountains. Amen. Declare it in the name of Jesus. So shout out to God for your healing, which is the process of making you or becoming you healthy again. Amen. To regaining your health. I look um, 17, 15 you know, this is the story with the leopards. And there was one, when he saw that he had been healed, turned back, glorifying God with a loud voice. He didn't not go like the other ones. He proclaimed God with a loud voice, amen, because he was healed. So once you receive your healing, you keep rejoicing. You keep giving God the, the glory for your healing. Don't forget about that. Don't, don't forget about, your, about God's healing you. Proclaim it. Keep testifying about that. Amen. You have a voice to give people encouragement. You have a voice to declare that God can heal. God is still in the business of healing. So don't allow the enemy to keep that little mouth of yours closed. No, open it up. Amen. And I know you can yell. If you can yell at your kids and scream from the top of your your head, <laughs> I know you can shout it out unto God and proclaim His glory and His and the power of His healing. <laughs> Amen. So <clears throat> let's go to um, number six. This is a good one too. Amen. If, um, when you don't know what to shout out, shout out for His presence. Amen. Shout out to God that you want his presence with you, amen, that you want him to be, for the Holy Spirit to be in you, and you want to proclaim his presence in your life. You want to proclaim that God is with you. You want to proclaim that the Holy Spirit moves in your life, amen? Isn't that, that, that is like, wow, if you can get the presence of God around you as you are shouting it out or praying or even worshiping God, that is awesome because God has the presence of the Holy Spirit is there with you, amen. And that is glorious, that is awesome, amen. And I would just shout it out just because it's awesome, amen. So, shout it out because of His presence. 
it's felt but it's not seen okay folks so if you're waiting to see something you're not gonna see it the holy spirit is like the wind you can feel it but you cannot see it amen so i say uh 12 6 it says cry out loud i want you to repeat after me cry out loud and shout for joy amen oh inhabitants of zion for greatest in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Shout, cry out loud and shout for joy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Awesome scripture. Hallelujah. And that was Isaiah 12, 6. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Now here in Acts 2 and 28, it says, You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Amen. There's nothing more beautiful than having the presence of God around you, in you. Amen. That is it's such a joy just to glorify God in his presence. It's such a beautiful glory. Amen. So, number seven. I got, let me see. Don't go yet. I have 11 total, okay? So um, these ones are all great. That's why I, you know, I could think of more, but I didn't want to take too much time, you know. Uh, so it's praise God together, amen. That's number seven. When you're in church, in mass, or in a church service group, a cell group, or you're in a prayer meeting, or you're with somebody else, praise Him together, amen. If it's a fellow Christian, a fellow brother and sister in the Lord, praise God together, shout it out, you know, just allow the Holy Spirit to flow between you guys, you know, and, uh, and just shout it out to God with a voice of joy, amen. There's nothing more wonderful than having a, a unity in the Spirit with somebody, and you're just happy, and the joy of the Lord is moving, and you can just shout to God with a voice of joy, amen? So shout out together. You know, if you're in, in, in the area somewhere where there's, you know there's other people, shout it out together. Just say, praise God, you know, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, praise the Lord, you know. Shout it out when you're together with somebody else, amen? Don't be shy that you are a faithful living Christian. Don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed, you know. The Lord said that if we deny Him, before the Father, if we deny Him, that He will also deny us before the Father. So we don't want that to happen. Amen. Now, I'm going to go a little bit faster here. Number eight, your rewards are great. Amen. Great, large in number. Amen. It's a large in measurements. So uh, Luke six twenty three says, "Be glad in the day and live for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven." For in the same way their fathers used to treat the prophets, amen. So your rewards are great in heaven. That's another thing to shout out to God because you're, every time you do something, a good works or anything like that, shout it out to God because your reward in heaven is great in heaven, amen. And the more you do it, and more good works and things like that, your rewards multiply, they increase in the heavens, amen. And one day you might say, you know what, I need to make a withdrawal. One day you might say, Lord, I know I've done so many good things for other people and things like that. And Father, I need to make a withdrawal. I need a blessing myself. I need something. And, and you, it's between you and God. And sure enough, God, if you have enough faith to believe, you have enough rewards in the heavens under your name. If you have enough faith to believe that you can withdraw because you have made several deposits of spiritual praise and 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 you have done a lot of good works and things like that so it's, those rewards are accumulating is it possible to do a spiritual withdrawal of course it is you have earned a lot of rewards by doing what you're doing you know a lot of good stuff that you do you you sacrifice daily for other people you do so many um you help people with transportation you help people with food you help people with with money you help people with anything that you can those are good works and and your rewards will be great in heaven so there's a time that you are going to have to make a withdrawal amen i believe so and, and i 
No, you can't. It can be, and it's possible. Why don't you try it and find out if it works in your life? Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, so your rewards are great, and that's something else to shout out for because if God has given you the time and the finances to be uh, rewarding to other people, keep praising God, shout it out to God so He can keep blessing you so you in return you bless others. Amen. Uh, number nine, rejoice for the evidence of the fruits of the Spirit in you. Amen. Oh, man. Woo. The evidence of the fruits of the Spirit. Hallelujah. That's something we can ask God. That's something we can shout out because as, as um, you know, as we are walking with God, the fruits of the Spirit will be uh, evident. Amen our love our joy our peace our patience our kindness our goodness our faithfulness etc etc amen so what is our tree dropping nearby us amen the fruit amen the fruit you know the fruit doesn't fall too far away from the tree amen so as we are in 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 connection with the father and 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 our lord jesus christ as we go forward those begin to grow in us and mature in us and then you can eventually see the mature the mature fruit of the the fruit of the spirit you can see the joy of someone you can the peace is evident the patience is evident and uh, all these things are evident amen okay hold on i'm having trouble here uh, everything is evident you'll be able to see it like the patient bearing the goodness of a person the faithfulness of of one person you can see all those acts because it's going to be reflected in them as their personality but it's really the fruits of the spirit amen so rejoice for the evidence of the fruits of the spirit that's something else you can shout out because what if you need more joy in you what if you need more love in you to to be more caring for for friends and strangers uh, uh, what if you need more patience what if you need more kindness kindness more goodness shout it out to, out to the lord you can pray about it too but you can shout it out to god you know when you're just washing dishes and doing stuff cleaning house doing laundry whatever you're doing fixing a flat tire fix, fixing something else shout it out to god what is it that you need from him from the fruits of the spirit amen it's between you and god what is it that you need ask him to give it to you and he will bring circumstances so that your joy can increase so that your peace can increase so that your love can increase and, uh, and even patience boy i asked god for more patience and boy he threw me he took me through some trials and tribulations that I had to deal with my patience and i was like at first it didn't dawn on me <laughs> at first i was like why did that happen and like oh hello <laughs> but then finally one day he's like Oh my God, God is testing me. He, God is bringing these trials for me to, to learn how to be more patient. <laughs> it finally dawned on me. <laughs> and now I have too much patience. <laughs> so, and okay, we're at number 10. <laughs> I'm getting close to closing here. Shot for restoration. Oh Lord. Restor you need to be restored in whatever condition that you have maybe lost to sickness or you have lost to some other situation, to accidents or, you know, something that you have lost, something that the enemy stole from you, amen? Uh, you can shout for restoration. God will restore you, amen? And not only restore you, but he'll make it better for you. God doesn't give you seconds. God will give you the best. God will give you the, the best. Uh, he will restore you to the best amen and his image he will restore you to his best amen so shout out for uh, to be restored for uh, um, if you want to be restored in, in the hell that the enemy stole from you you know whatever that situation is again as shout it out to god god i want to be healed god restore to me my health god restore back to me my strength right? restore back to me my mind my heart my 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 body father restore back to me whatever it is shout it out to god don't be afraid to speak it out amen 
now this is the last one and this one is the main thing amen hallelujah shout with joy for your eternal life amen one other thing you can shout out to god and give him thanks and praise is shouting out that you have salvation okay which is one of the points but eternal life amen that you are having eternal life and that your name you know your name is written in the book of life and you're striving every day to keep that status because many people believe you can lose your salvation many people believe that you know even if you get saved you can lose salvation I might want to say you can or cannot that's between you and God amen but I know that as as we shot with joy for our eternal salvation that God is that God is there for us amen that we have given our 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 past and we have received Jesus into our heart and soul amen and that we believe in Christ Jesus and we strive to live in him we strive to to be Christ like and we know that every day as we walk we are eventually overcoming each day it's a process but we eventually will become overcomers and and our book will stay in the book of life amen and we will have eternal life amen so are you ready to shout it out i gave you a lot of examples amen uh, but let me let me tell you this uh, john 3 uh, 3 15 it says that whosoever believes in him which is jesus would not perish but have eternal life amen so hallelujah that's a glorious thing to shout out to god and give him all the honor and all the praise because of your eternal life that has been gifted to you by jesus christ amen well hallelujah do we have enough to shout out <laughs> do i need to do a part two <laughs> <laughs> so let's shout out to God and give him all the honor amen hallelujah there's no reason to keep quiet like I was saying earlier don't keep your mouth shut shutting your mouth is a reflection of your faith amen it's silence is a killer uh, in overcoming amen because if we can't speak life if we can't speak praise if we can't speak for our healing and for deliverance and and for the victory how do you expect to overcome and how do you expect to receive your blessings amen that's a big question and that's something you need to search in your heart how why do i have trouble opening my mouth in praise or in worship speak it shout it out amen the enemy wants to keep you under his feet i know god has uh, jesus already has the victory to life and death amen but he still will come in an opportune time to to harass you you know and so don't allow that to happen i do not give a time of the day on the devil i don't because jesus already overcame jesus already took the keys to uh to uh, to the life and was it the keys to life and death amen I forgot what it was <laughs> but Jesus already came he took that amen so now we have everything that we can shout out we can shout out and thank him that we are not embarrassed by him nor his kingdom amen so I'm gonna I want you to shout it out to the heavens that you are serious you that shows that your faith is strong in god it shows that you mean business amen it shows that that you're not a weakling in christ that shows that you are a strong person that you stand in the foundation of christ so let's shout it out amen let's sh shout it out unto god and i gave you 11 things to shout out to god boy well let us pray amen and um, if you right now are, are one of those persons that you feel you're having a difficult time shouting out, opening your mouth to give God the glory and the thanks and even to praise him and during worship at a, a church or even at your own personal home, shout it out. You need to overcome that 
Amen. Because the enemy has your little mouth under his control. Amen. So let's shout it out and let us pray. Heavenly Father, Father, I thank you, Lord, for everyone that is listening to this video. Father, I pray, Father, that that something stirs in with them, Father. Your Holy Spirit will stir, Father, in their hearts and their spirit, that they will be able to say, I will shout it out into the heavens. I will shout it out to the, above on the rooftop. I will shout it out no matter where I am. Shout it out to the Almighty God and that you are claiming you are taking possession of the blessings that God has for you and your family. Take a hold of those things by shouting out the praise of thanksgiving, by shouting out the glory and the testimony to God. So shout out unto all that. Amen. And now we want to pray for those that have prayer requests. Amen. Uh, we want to pray for uh, Bishop's uh, sister. Maris, uh, I will give you her first name. It's Maris, uh, uh, Maricela. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, we're going to pray for her. So I want you to uh, unite with me in faith. Amen. While we do this prayer. We're going to shout out that she heals. That she heals faster than what is normally the record on that situation amen amen let us pray father in the name of jesus lord father we lift up our sister maricela and father we pray father for her health father we pray lord and we shout right now father for the healing father the healing to be abound on Maricela, Father. We ask that you take away this sickness that she has right now. Take it away in Jesus' name. And Father, we declare, Father, by the mountains and the rooftop, Father, we declare your healing upon her, Father. Remove these things from her, Father. In the name of Jesus, we declare it, Father. We declare, Father, a speedy recovery, a total healing, Father. In the name of Jesus, let your healing, Father, Right now, Father, let your healing, Father, land upon her head right now, Father, that she will be delivered from this uh, temporary sickness, Father, we, that she will be delivered from that situation now, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. Hallelujah. So we glorify you, Holy Father. I did not receive any prayer requests, so if you have any prayer requests, do, um, don't forget to send them to me or to my husband. Uh, Pastor Mike, don't be, you know, uh, it will be, um, we will not say what the condition is. We might call your name that you're not feeling well, but we won't just say what your condition is. So um, we'll keep that confidential. But regardless, it is healing that you need. So we uh, will also keep praying for you, amen, until we see the victory. So shout out for your healing, amen. Shout out for your healing. So we thank you, God. And also I want to say that this coming Sunday is our physical live service in the building. Amen. Uh, shout it out. Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, it's at 10 o'clock and uh, we will have service then. I cannot wait to see my fellow brothers and sisters. Amen. And uh, we will see you there. And again, it's at 10 o'clock. So if you need to... Um, Refer back to some of the teachings. Uh, you can always go to Kingdom Faith Church on YouTube, World Evangelism. You can hear Bishop's old uh, sermons there. Or you can go to my YouTube also to hear my teachings under Grace Silenteria. I think I just changed the name to Grati. It's, uh, uh, Grati is, means grace in Dutch or something like that. I forgot what it was. Uh, but that's what I'm using because there's another Grace Rent Gracie Renteria with another YouTube channel. So um, if, if you don't know me, you might not know who is who. <laughs> so Grati Renteria, amen. G R A T I E. It's so funny, but if you say with a, if you add an S at the end, it's Gratis, which means free. <laughs> you know what? I am free in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, guys, I'll let you go. May you prosper in the name of Jesus. And again, shout it out to God and proclaim your, your testimonies and proclaim your healing and proclaim the blessings of the Lord. God bless you and take care. Bye-bye.